Hello everyone, uh, welcome to episode 10, we're already into the double digits now. Um, i start immediately with saying very sorry for being incredibly late again on bringing out, I was hoping that these would come out once every week or two, but it seems to be once every month or two. I think we've been a year now and we've done 10 episodes, so not even quite one a month yet unfortunately. Uh, as you can see we're basically where we left off we've uh, kind of filled all these now very full very full oh god have we filled them almost almost filled every single one and that's without trying um, we've been doing a lot of stuff so sorry for for the lateness of this one um, we've been what a good month or two without giving an update and it's mainly my fault because I went and bought an HTC Vive, a little virtual reality setup, and uh, uh, yeah, we spent all our time on that, didn't we, Dim? Lots and lots of time, yeah, unfortunately. But yeah, we're, we're back. We're, the nice thing is we've actually been playing some of this on the Vive, which is nice to go and have a look around. It's uh, uh, You can go and look at your own creations and go and build, and yeah, I really enjoyed that, although it's nowhere near as easy to play as it is on a mouse and keyboard so I wouldn't recommend it for PvPing for instance um, right so as you can see we've added a little something here um, it's very noisy in here as you'd expect when you hit these things it gets incredibly noisy so after a lot of time and way too much time in fact we finally got a system that worked and if you pull the lever there and basically all we're doing is dropping these guys down and that stops the, or quietens the noise. So if we're in here and we're not in the process of killing these, we're doing other things, we're repairing things, we're adding enchants or whatever we happen to be doing. If we want the noise to go away but we still want volume in the game, we can just push this button here. And that, that's all it does. Nice and easy. A little bit of redstone down there. Can't really see it but... Um, it's probably been done incredibly inefficiently because this is actually redstone I designed along with Dim. It wasn't something we went and found online. <laughs> we tried to do it ourselves. We're both pretty bad at redstone and uh, we got a very inefficient but very, it works. I mean it works very quickly. It's instant so you know there's that but there probably would have been an easier way of doing it. So on to today's episode. Um, we need wither skulls. We need three of them because we want to make a beacon and we want to make a beacon because we want to make a slime farm and the slime farm's going to be big and there's going to be a lot of digging and it would be awesome if we could have haste too and then we can dig much much quicker. So yeah, three wither skulls will be needed for that which come from wither skeletons and I think they drop one in every 30 and they're not that common either uh, no so it's gonna be fun because it has to be done in the nether and we we're very good at dying in the nether so that'll be fun um, we're also going to be making uh, some new stables for dim because we promised her this in episode 4 which in reality <laughs> in reality is a good six months ago uh, for us so yeah very very long time ago we said we would get some more stable so we'll we'll uh, hopefully get time to do that um, and then we'll see where we go from there I think the, the main part of this episode is going to be the slime farm because that's going to be a big project um, so that we can have our own slime and that was purely because of something I wanted to make and it required sticky pistons and I had no slime okay so let's uh, get on to doing that and see where we go well, a lot has happened since uh, the <laughs> cut that you've just seen. Um, we have eventually, as you can see here, managed to get three with a skeleton skulls. That took three separate sessions, and I think the shortest session was about an hour and a half, and the longest session was about three hours. Uh, and we had looting three and everything on our swords. We just got very, very unlucky. Uh, sometimes it took forever to see any of the uh, skeletons. And sometimes we'd smash down 30 skeletons in 30 minutes. And there wouldn't be a single skull. And we did technically get four, didn't we? 
Yeah. We did have four at one point. Because all three of those uh, heads I managed to get. One of them that is not there. Somebody else got, didn't they, Dim? Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, she unfortunately died uh, a horrible death. Um whilst holding one of the skulls and to be fair we both died a lot you'll see in a minute when you see our death count so yeah we both died but in the meantime we have been doing a few other things about the place um i've been doing a lot of mining a uh, hell of a lot of mining uh, still not enough so that i can get enough iron blocks so that when we do get this thing we can actually put them onto my iron blocks that would be nice um so there's that now look at what Dim made and unfortunately Dim is mute because I forgot to start recording her audio so um, I'm sure I can record that after the next jump so look she made a map um, this is us here on the castle that's the big bridge and over here that's where our old XP and mob farm was in the sky and that's our entrance to the nether just through that water and underground and we got a farm over here and we've got all our animals so yeah it's above ground we actually don't look like we've done that much I think most of our work has been done underground or in the nether or so it doesn't actually look like we've done too much but I promise you you've seen the episodes we've definitely done something so let us get out of this area and we'll quickly show you a couple of little things we've done two other things and then you can come and rejoin us when we go uh when we're back in the nether up at the top and hopefully dim will have a voice then as well so we'll start with down here um it's really very boring uh, but i'll show you it because it's going to become a bit more interesting in the future um because I wanted to make a, a very simple piston door um, I went to make some sticky pistons and found out we only had one piece of slime and as luck would have it right outside our doorstep there are three this is three separate slime chunks here one over there one here and one there so at the moment this is the most basic you can't even call it a farm it's just an area um so we hide in here and we go fk do other things and then we come out and there's normally somewhere between one and six slimes here and we kill them with our looting sword and get lots and lots of slime um but this will be turning into a much bigger construct um with multiple levels and possibly an auto killing device and things like that so it will become more of a farm but that'll be a big project and with the amount of digging that will be needed uh will be ideal for our beacon when we get it so that can be one of the first things it's probably used for when we get back up here and try not to get killed by any googlies that happen to be around and I needed the sticky pistons well I didn't need but I wanted the sticky pistons because I didn't want to ruin the look of this room but behind this room was the ideal place to put another uh, AFK fishing farm because as we no longer use the AFK fishing farm in the sky um, it, well the AFK there's an AFK fishing farm there and then there's the mob spawner and we're not using that, that mob farm anymore so where we go down to the end and use the much more efficient one so we don't stay there afk anymore so do you want to push the button or pull the lever and woo, look we have a that's all i wanted it i needed six sticky pistons to make that <laughs> so, um if anyone's interested on in how to make that uh be happy to show it if you put something in your comments uh and yeah we've just got exactly the same setup here except for the fact that um, the chests that are in here, how many? I think we've got six or eight? Six. Six, right. And we can expand on that later if we want to. So we can have more chests. And can you show me how to get to the chests? Oh, yeah, here it is the chest room. Close that door. And down here we have the chest room. 
and it's really simple no redstone involved in this part of it it is just hopper 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 um, it starts at the bottom and works its way up so these are the books that we've found so far the reason we were trying again is because we've run out completely of our mending books so we're trying to get some more we've got some pretty good stuff in here we've got some uh, silk touch and uh, efficiency 4 some frost walker yeah we've got some pretty nice stuff but not what we were looking for and depth strider 3 also very good and this is a, a bin a garbage area to throw away all the crap that it gives us that we don't want and that's what we've been doing and this has been happening in the evenings after work for about a week now nearly um, getting close to a week so we can finally go off now to the nether we will try and kill a wither by making it kill itself but knowing as this is our very this is our very first attempt we've never tried killing a wither before we've never even tried spawning a wither before so there's a, a good chance of death because we'll put him in the wrong place but you know it'll be funny at least maybe it'll give us views <laughs> right i'll see you there okay so after about half an hour to an hour's worth of hunting um we have finally found what we think is a suitable spawn area so we're hoping he's going to spawn where his tail is here which means he will go up into here which should mean that none of his missiles will hit us and he'll be easily killed um, I see that Dim has decided to run as far away as possible and hide which is probably a very good idea um, I think I will make an exit for myself just here uh, to show you how much mining we had to do to find this I had two pickaxes, one with about 5% off of it, and it had unbreaking three, <laughs> and it's uh, worn out. So I'm having to use another one now. So here we go. We're going to give this a shot and hope to God that we don't die. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Okay, he looks like he's stuck, which is exactly what he wanted. Now, he's supposed to do something that can cause damage when he first starts. And he's hurt. He's not hurting himself, but he's not... Ow, there's the one where he does the banging. There we go. He has to get his health up. Lots of noise. Didn't turn down the sound. Let's uh, try and turn down the sound before she kills it. There we go. Back to game. Right. Yep, this looks nice and easy. Now we've done it right. There we go. And this is the very first time we've ever got it, as you saw with the achievement there. And there's the pretty star. And neither of us can currently pick it up. There we go. I got it now. There you go, Dim. You didn't need to hide after all, did you? Look. It's all good. You're not dead. And you're in the nether. I know, right? Excellent. So that's the start. We'll probably have to do that again at some point, but what we'll do is we'll create a wither farm. And, uh, yeah, we might want to try digging down here and seeing where we end up to see if there's a better way in here for the future because we've dug so far. Um, be very careful digging down, <laughs> but we probably need to dig down. In fact, the person who digs down should not be holding the star there do not die do not go anywhere stand perfectly still <laughs> okay then guys we'll get this back and i'll get to work on making enough iron blocks so that we can create um some nice haste two beacons uh, or beacon and uh we'll uh i don't know what's next dim what's next uh that would be the slime farm Ah. The, the, the farm of the slimes the farm of the slimes okay then if we do that we might not have time this episode to do the stables again but you know she said slimes so we'll do slimes 
see you in a bit okay so after what feels like about six months of mining um, not just me but uh, dim and also a new player um, who's uh, down here as the Hulk uh, big green guy um, he, as he's the Hulk he's pretty rapid at destroying walls and stuff like that and so he came and helped us mine for I don't know I think combined all of our mining probably nearly died um, probably seven eight hours of mining and we finally look look it look it block of iron block of iron block of iron block of iron we finally got enough resources to make a beacon now we need to put it down here so that we can create a slime farm a lot quicker but it's just dawned on me that some of this will be water if we dug straight up that would be bad um, hmm. I'm guessing that there won't be any water if we put it here so perhaps if we put it here and then we won't die horribly yes okay um, Right, that should be enough, so I will grab the beacon and put that on the top, like that, and it's all bright. Now if we can just dig up a little bit, I want to see, oh maybe you don't see the light unless it goes out, out. Okay, so we've put that in there, are we allowed to, yes we are allowed to do things with it, good. So we'll put this in and say we want haste, or we're not even allowed to do that yet. Hmm. I don't think we're even allowed to set it up with haste to until we can see the outside world. So I see Dim's just gone right up to the top. She's pillaring up. Uh, what are you see in there, Dim? Black. Lots of black. There is masses of black I can't see anything oh okay so you're, you're not at the top yet then no no nowhere near okay um, if you didn't realise so I think we're, we're going for a I think we're going to go for a hybrid build here we're going to have slimes will spawn in this area that you see here but they can spawn on any level in this area here so what we're going to do is we're going to clear out a bunch more levels probably a few above us and a few below us uh, and each one will have probably a space of three in between so at the moment we've got four uh, I think we're four high in this one yeah so that'll probably be three high what's the matter drowning drowning slowly drowning hit water oh dear Uh, she's alive. She's alive. It's okay, I was just I was just uh, turning around to check that she was still alive. So does that mean that where we built that is underwater? I can fix. Okay. All right. She's gonna fix that. So as I was saying, we're gonna have. Um, they're gonna all gonna be three high. You'll be able to see it soon. And uh, we're gonna dig out a little bit further so that the slimes can because they just jump randomly. They don't care if there's anything. Uh, in the way or if there's uh, a huge gap they will just jump and we're going to get them to then jump outside of this area where we'll have it knocked out um, they will fall down to the bottom and we'll have some way of killing them and directing them with water probably um, to kill them off when they get to the bottom and possibly some kind of collection system um, we may speed up hopefully speed up the process by putting out iron golems uh, on the outsides because they go for iron golems and uh, go straight into attack mode and that would make things much easier because normally you just have to wait for them to randomly bounce outside and that could take a long time um, if it goes and if it sees one of these golems it will just jump straight to it fall down to its uh, to its ultimate doom and that will leave uh, that means it'll be killed quicker and if it's killed quicker that means that there's more chances of more spawns happening so I think that's the way we're gonna do it but we'll uh, obviously talk you through it when we do this anyway um, and it looks like she's done it because I can see a big power beam excellent 
so let's just quickly check that this works shall we um, let's put that there let's click on here let's again only used I've seen people use the power beam that's it so haste yes okay and then I think you have to put in another one click haste again to give it haste 2 click yes and then we should see this change to haste 2 very shortly it might need to run out first I don't know there we go haste 2 excellent so now let's give that a quick try yeah now we got haste 2 that's much better <laughs> so much quicker okay then so what we'll do next I think is a time lapse of us um, trying to turn this into a proper farm and uh, we'll speak to you when we get back Right, so that's all the grunt work finished, all the constant mining, and uh, condensed into, what was that, two, two and a half minutes, I think it took a little bit longer than that. Um, so let's show you what we've got here, let's just go down, because obviously you only saw bits and pieces earlier on. Now, here we are, we're finally coming down. So you can see all the different levels here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And it seems pretty efficient as well, whilst we've been down here, um, just getting uh, some bits and pieces ready here. Uh, I've already got almost a stack of slime balls, and uh, I'm sure Dim's got a few as well. Um, so now it comes to creating the killing zone. Oh, yeah, there it is. So now we've got more than a stack. So we're coming to creating a killing zone. We're going to be putting in the uh, iron golems around the edges, and we're going to be putting in the water streams and things like that. And we're either going to use lava blades to kill them off, or we're going to use maybe cactus. We're going to try a few things out. We're also going to light up this area because these just look awful. So we're going to light up these areas in a different way. And uh, we'll just jump up to that, and uh, unless something incredibly interesting happens, in which case we'll try and record it for you. So this is 20 seconds later. I have some friends. I said it was efficient. It might be a little too efficient. And poor Dim over there can't even move because she's crying with laughter. Um, <laughs> she finds this funny. 
Oh well, let's get on with it. Change of plan, everyone. Um, we started to do all the work in making it all pretty in the slime farm. We put in the iron golems, and uh, that was fine until I decided, you know, let's get this decorated and looking nice. Um, does that mean Dim wants to go in and take a look? Okay, so we started to uh, do the decorating and realised straight away that the iron, iron golems really wasn't going to work. Uh, it just got in the way of the aesthetics and I know that's ridiculous but it's more than efficient enough without the uh, golems. We're going to keep one in place. Uh, that's going to be right over where the killing area is so once they get towards the killing area the large ones can fight against the water streams but they won't if they're uh, oh, gone past it if they have any kind of incentive to come straight into the killing zone like we do here so down here right at the bottom um, to the left here see where I'm indicating that is where the killing area is and we've got a golem inside there waiting now we've got all these other golems and they're going to be removed now as you can see this is the style we're going for and this is why we're removing all the other uh, iron golems because if you look yeah it's big so we've gone for we needed to have lighting as we said so we've put lighting in the floor and we have put lava in the walls and we've put some mild lighting behind this quartz here and this is what's taking all the time and the reason why we're going to end this uh, episode before finishing because this area here to mine all the part all the bits and pieces that we needed and to put it all together has taken four or five hours between three of us so we're looking at 15 hours of work just to do this tiny bit and we've got all this left to do so yeah instead of delaying the release of this episode by another six months i thought we'd get it sent out now and we'll do it in between um other projects in the next episode and hopefully at the end of the next episode this might be completed and we can show you exactly what it looks like anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time Thank <laughs> you.